<laughs> That's great. Oh, you're fine. And what can I do for you, gentlemen? I'm a traffic detective from Central Division. Who's in charge here? I am, Gordon Lightfall. What's this about? We understand that your company prints California vehicle titles. Yes, I have the government contract to print pink slips. I've done for some years. Have you had any goods or equipment stolen recently? We're running up against stolen cars with seemingly legitimate paperwork. Not recently. Have you ruled out forgery? There's no shortage of talented artists in this town. You can't live. We'll keep it in mind. They won't be able to hear me. I'll be muffled. My cat is currently trying to get all the attention and is smacking me in the face with their paw. Three. C three PO. You, you can't do that. Ow, you're clawing my arm! <laughs> oh, you, shit. He's trying to fall asleep on my chest. We have some questions for you, Mr. Lightball. Mr. Lightball, we're currently working two auto theft cases. Do you know anything about a car theft ring? Uh, certainly not. Why would I get mixed up in a thing like that? I'm not accusing you of being involved, Mr. Lightfall. I just wondered whether you had heard anything. Yes, I see. Um, we have had attempts to break in here before. A lot of the government forms here have value to criminals. Do the names Cliff Harrison and James Belasco mean anything to you? No, they do not. He darted his eyes. Harrison bought his car from Coombs. The pink slip looks good, and that points the finger here. Do you have any employee trouble? No, I don't. They've all been carefully screened. Look, now that I think about it, the name Coombs sounds familiar. I think they may have been involved in stolen documents in the past. Do you have a delivery ledger, Mr. Lightfall? We would like to cross-check against the Coombs Automotive Emporium. It's a little out of the ordinary, Detective. Uh, I'm not sure I can share those sorts of records. Hand it over, Lightfall. You don't want us having bad thoughts about you, do you? Very well. But this really is irregular. Over here. Yay! Marquee printing Look for company. patterns, recurring names, unusual addresses, anything out of the ordinary. You certainly encourage repeat business, Lightbulb. This Mr. Bigelow is a good customer. Sorry to bother you, sir. We'll let you know if there are any developments. Do you have a newspaper in here? I would love to look at a newspaper. You do not, okay. We're out. You know the way. You can drive. Uh, where are we going? Oh shit. We have guns drawn. I forgot about this part. We should call for a couple of black and whites. Get Fleischer down here. I thought you Marines were gung-ho, Cole. You have a 45. Don't you ever want to use it? 
I'll take the back. Just give me a few seconds to get around there. Dun 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 dun. Cole Phelps, LAPD. All of you are coming downtown with me. Throw out the guns. I heard something. All right, all right, don't shoot! Keep your hands up. Watch him, Bukowski. He doesn't move until I've tossed this place. A betting slip. Looks like Mr. Lightfall has been on a losing streak. Key Printing Company. <laughs> There's nothing like going direct to the source. Well then. I checked all that. You have a newspaper? Not you. No. There are enough slips here to keep them stealing cars till Christmas. No, no, no. We've got a trail of pink slips and stolen cars that leads right to your door, Bigelow. You're in this up to your neck, but I don't think you're the man in charge. Make it easier on yourself. Give him up. I had to work on cars for customers. You charge in here shooting up the place like it's the Ballad of Bulge. I can't give you anything. We know about marquee printing. You can make this easier on yourself by giving us your man on the inside. I sometimes repair cars and put them back on the road. I need a pink slip to resell them. There's no problem there. I saw the dart! There are at least four dead men in this warehouse. A couple more. Punks won't make for that much extra paperwork. We'd be doing the legal system a favor. Okay, okay, tough guy. I get the message. Lightfall. The guy who runs Marquis. He's the big shot. He likes to spend big at the track. He owes people. Light ball. The guy with no luck at the track. Tell me about him. It's one of the guys lying over there. You're right. He has no luck. So if I go over there and check his jacket, your story's gonna ring true? I'm warning you, Bigelow. Give it a try, Flatfoot. For some reason, none of my guys like to bring ID to work. Whether you give up your bosses or not, Bigelow, you're going away for as long as I can put you there. We'll see. I didn't fire a shot, Kappa. I just watched you tear my place up.
bad is it? What a mess. Ugh, gonna take some cleaning up, that's for sure. I wish it hadn't gone that way. Well, we shouldn't bring guns to work with us. We didn't have a lot of choice. You have to admire the barefaced cheek of someone who tries to blow your brains out one minute and pleads innocence the next. Yeah, especially when he's surrounded by evidence. But guys like Bigelow spend so much time convincing themselves that they're not doing anything wrong that they actually start to believe their own bullshit. They get sloppy. Bigelow, Lightball, all of them. If they hadn't, who knows how long they could have kept this racket going. Complacency or greed. It's always one of the two that brings them down. Looks like it's like almost right next. It actually is. Next intersection, I'm making a left. Places have so much preparation H. Ooh, we Benny's give me speed. What are you doing? Get the hell down from there, you lunatic! Stop! You really need to lay off the pills. Oh, Gigi. Oil your hinges, sir. You better not be smoking in this car. Right up ahead. Yep. 